Yeah, I'm gonna just be flat out with you. Being a VTuber on YouTube only, it, it's a pain in the ass. And definitely it's by far one of the most difficult and challenging things that you can ever put yourself into, especially considering the fact that, you know, tons of other VTubers stream and they do a lot of other stuff that, you know, gets them somewhere. But my ass is unfortunate enough not be able to do it because obviously life. So I don't know necessarily what this video should be called honestly i don't want to call it i regret being a youtuber because at the same time i don't but at this, but also also my ass is not getting anywhere so that's another thing but i don't but i feel like but y'all remember when i was saying like before the year ended that i was saying that if we don't hit 1k i don't feel like a youtuber i still don't feel like one so that's that, that's definitely one thing for some reason i'm only getting like the fewest amounts of things right and every other thing I'm getting wrong. I don't know where I'm going with that, but still, things just don't feel like it's growing fast enough, or at least growing in the way it should. Because by far, I am not like every other YouTuber or VTuber, honestly. Because I don't stream, I don't play really, I don't really play any games. I talk about it, but I don't really do anything that a lot of other VTubers do. And essentially, that is hurting me, obviously. And it's why you don't see a lot of YouTuber, VTuber people. It's mainly because, you know, this thing, doing YouTube by itself, is difficult. Doing, just doing this by itself is not the easiest thing in the world, honestly. It's something that will still mess you. It will probably be the worst decision that you can just make if you're just trying to be an original VTuber with no streaming experience whatsoever. That's why you usually only see YouTuber, VTubers doing, covering VTuber news or covering drama or some other third thing that helps maybe like youtuber clips just editing that but other than that you know you're not gonna necessarily make it and it's not really a nice thing to keep in your brain a lot of the time because it just makes you feel like how insignificant you are against other vtubers especially those that can stream and have money to be able to buy equipment for shit it just gets annoying and it gets very depressing real fast and it's just not nice so yeah if you plan on being a vtuber personally I recommend just doing some streaming or just covering the news and drama. If you ain't doing that, you're gonna flop. Look at me for look at me as an example. I can't do any of that. I'm just being original and trying to do what I can for myself and try to enjoy myself while I'm here. But and I know you're probably thinking, well, you haven't been a VTuber for that long. Like you just got a VTuber model not too long ago. And you're right, but I've been here for two years and a half now and still hasn't generated not a single thing honestly yeah i mean sure i got attention from people that i didn't think i was gonna get got some cool follows like you know devil's tokyo and drag which is very amazing and probably some other people that i probably never heard of but it's still cool nonetheless but all in all what i'm supposed to do just say that oh yeah I, I devil's tokyo follow me yeah drag followed me as well you know i'm pretty legendary i don't want to use their name to be like showboating and whatever like that like don't get me wrong no disrespect or anything i'm not trying to like you know flaunt who i know and stuff because that would just make me feel like less humble and less of a actual sensible human being and i don't want to necessarily do that i know it's all about you know having connections and knowing who you know and stuff but at the same time but at the same time it's like i'll be losing myself or at least you know not being the same person as i was before because i'm just flaunting who i know and who i have spoken to and who did this and did what for me and whatever it just doesn't necessarily feel right in all honesty so yeah flaunting someone else's name about who i know just doesn't feel right with me it, it just doesn't another thing is as well i don't feel like i understand or even interact with the audience enough and honestly i'm just calling everybody an audience right now because calling everybody's kohai doesn't sit right with me at this moment just because i don't feel like i deserve to call you that anymore but essentially i don't know how to interact and properly be around the audience enough it's just like I'm doing all this stuff, and yeah, there's interactions here and there, but if I'm being perfectly honest, our interaction rate is not there. It is not solid, especially on Twitter. It is garbage on Twitter a lot of the time. And essentially, I wish it was a little bit better. I wish it was a bit stronger there, but it's not. And that's probably, and that's half of the reason why I don't really 
tweet out anything or really interact with other people is because most of the time I'm just gonna get ignored or I'm just not gonna you know have anybody to at me or talk to me or whatever it's just you know not it and a person with in a content creator with no fan interaction it just ends up hurting you in the long run and it doesn't really do anything for you obviously so that's also one other thing that really really sucks but it just it is how it is when it comes down to it unfortunately and you know it just it just doesn't feel great it just made me feel like i'm less than a youtuber than i'm supposed to be than i already am honestly and then lastly i would probably have to say definitely because i keep feeling it every single time is that because of the situation i am in because i'm not you know there at all it just makes me feel like Anytime I see like a popular VTuber or whoever doing well, I just get insanely jealous for no reason. Absolutely, they deserve where they are at and they absolutely deserve all the love and attention in our world. But when it comes to me and looking at it, it's just like, wow, look how great they are. Look how shitty I am. I'm never going to reach that level because that's the level that they deserve. I don't deserve shit. I should just go ahead and just go into covers and sleep all day because that's how it is. But obviously that's the bad thoughts in my head which i cannot just ignore at this point because it just keep good and it keeps getting worse day after day so you know and then you're probably thinking we'll just take a break i'm pretty sure missing a few days wouldn't kill you yes it would because obviously not financially stable so i refuse to take a day off kinda like even if i am taking it it seems like i'm taking a day off i'm not really because i'm just working on stuff in the background which also you know it's not really taking a break so i'm pretty much just working all the time until i go to sleep and then essentially you know that's the only break i get but essentially every other time than that i'm pretty much just doing things for other people or either just trying to focus on what i can do to better my content even though bettering my content doesn't feel like it's doing anything at this point but still you know i'm just trying to do what i can there is no possible way i could take a break essentially especially obviously because you know financial stuff and i don't necessarily want to quit because if i quit obviously then i could kiss my house goodbye and the bills goodbye and everything else would just be i'll be sitting in my house with no water no lights no heat no nothing so i'll be screwed completely once again i feel like i'm just gonna get thrown in the trash no one will remember me in the next two years and yeah that's pretty much gonna be the rest of my my entire youtube career that's how i'm gonna go down guys that's that's how i am so you know it's it just not great anytime i just see like like and i know somebody be like well maybe well you're doing better than a lot of those v tweeters out there yeah but you know no one knows who i am yet no one knows who where i'm at and it just feels very annoying very quickly like more like calliope was literally like you should just make content just make some content and stop being on twitter all the time but even if you make content guess what calliope i'm still nowhere not a damn person know who i am yet so what the hell is going on what kind of cracked energy did you get so you can just go ahead and have like a bunch of people following you well you had a lot so that's another thing but still you already a good content creator before that so what the hell did i what am i missing here that you have that i don't that's the big question and i don't even know why i even try to reach out to a lot of top people because a lot of time i get ignored like the whole next saku talking about the whole you know discussion of lollies thing that joke did not even go through not even once not even e an email and because i learned that you know a lot of top youtubers don't even check their emails which is an asshole thing i still feel like it just feels very annoying to be ignored honestly i'm just not gonna make it that that's just how, that's my point at this that's my point at this time that's that's how i feel at this point so i'm still gonna try to make content i'm still gonna do what i feel like i can do if i make it and somehow buy a miracle i'm able to make it within the next within april that would that would surprise me that would utterly shock me but i highly doubt i'll make it then because the universe hates my ass so i don't know what i'm dealing with the only point is take this channel as i guess a whole ass piece of advice don't do the necessary don't necessarily do the things i'm doing because obviously it's not working and if you got the ability to stream and have the money to stream and have the equipment please do or just make a drama channel or whatever because no one cares about original content and definitely no one gives a damn about me a lot except for the very few that does everything i feel like i'm doing is like a fight or survival you being a youtuber should be about having fun and discussing interesting topics and doing interesting things yet here i am treating the whole entire thing like fighting and surviving 
and barely making it and that's not just ha and that's not a fun way to look at doing youtube but that's how i look at it literally every day anyway that's pretty much all i want to say for this one so hopefully you guys listened i guess i don't know anyway i'm just gonna dip now because everything feels like torture and yeah that's pretty much me signing off hell of a